you guys, this is Kevin Potter, and I'm going to show you how to make your own wire. So what these are, these are just generic silver rounds. They're not of any numismatic value. They're just generic silver. You buy them at a coin shop, they sell them as silver bullion, you should be able to buy them for spot. You're, this is the cheapest way you're ever going to make your own silver. Plus, then you don't have to stock 20 different sizes of sheet and wire. So today, what we're going to do, we're going to make some wire, some big, thick wire. And I think I'm going to use three ounces. I'm going to make a big, thick bracelet. And I'm going to show you how to use the rolling mill to make the wire. And then we're going to take our heavy wire and we're going to put it in a die in the hydraulic press. But that's another video. So let's get started. You're going to need a crucible and some silver and a torch always turn your gas on first will be the red hose oops this is the settling see all the soot coming off a lot of you guys will be using propane which is a lot better to use carefully turn on the gas the oxygen slowly you want a reducing flame that's kind of a reducing flame but we need a little bit more heat that's pretty good. It sounds like the space shuttle. I got three ounces in. Kind of neat, huh? All right, here we go. Keep the edge of your crucible so you don't get a cold pour. I'm gonna pre-warm this a little bit. It'll be fine. Ta-da! So when you start pouring, don't stop. You want to get a nice continuous bar. It'll get cold spots in it and you'll see them. So when you pour, just, sorry about that, you'll want to just fill the whole thing. And if you're using a metal table or a cookie sheet, that's for the best because you don't want to let your table on. Okay, so once you've poured your mold, your ingot, this is what you'll get. Nice bar. Hey, it's not even hot. That's surprising. So what we have is a nice, clean bar. Next step, to the rolling mill. So we'll start with our largest. This All this mill has is wire. Doesn't It's not a combo mill. It only does wire. So we're going to start with the biggest size we got. And you start off nice and slow, rolling it through. You can see what we got now. It's getting pretty square. You don't want to roll these uh, flashings in too much because you can get like flaking on your bar. So I'm going to spin this thing to kind of get it squared up. You can see how if you wanted to make a nice big bracelet, you could do it pretty easily with this. Plus, if you had to buy this piece of wire, it would be a lot of money. So I'm going to go to the next hole. I'm going to bring this up again. And... Get it adjusted and start rolling. I probably could have taken a bigger bite, but we're just getting it going. This will make a whole bunch of wire. And it really doesn't take very long to do it. And then if you wanted to go from round wire, from here you'd put it in a draw bench or a draw table. I'll make a video of that sometime, showing how to do that as well. So it's looking really good. It's getting a little twisted. I think I'm going to anneal it. When you anneal, you want to do it in low lighting so you can see when the silver turns red. You want a dull red. My trusty assistant is going to turn the lights down for us. It's 
came, we're there. Nice dull red. I'm going to take it a little higher. Perfect. See, it's a not, you don't want to get it super red. Your metal will crystallize and then you'll get cracks. That's where a lot of people have troubles when they're rolling metal. They think it doesn't work. They're overheating it. You don't want to overheat it. I like to air cool it. It uh, I don't, seems to crack less. So we're going to take it over here. Now you would never want to do this when it's red hot. Your metal will crack. Sure and wipe your anvil off and then just gently form it down. Don't get crazy with it. We're just trying to make it straight. Not that it won't get bent again when we roll it, but there we go. Now we take the Pull it off a bit. There we go. So now we have an awesome piece of square wire. Now, don't put wet wire in your rolling mill because it'll rust. You know, tighten it down a little bit. Roll it through. For the stuff that I'm making, we are going to need big heavy stock. So I'm not going to take too much take this down much more. I want real a nice heavy bracelet. So this is it. This is as far as I'm taking this one. And then the next video will show you how we make it into a patterned bracelet. Let me give you the close up. So there it is. It's looking really good. There's no cracks anywhere. It's really solid. No pits. And uh, it's a nice piece of metal. Thanks for watching.